Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to make pumpkin pie and keto dressing. These are both keto, so you're going to start out with one cup of almond flour, one cup of coconut flour, a pinch of salt, and you're just going to mix this around just until it's combined. And then you're going to take a half a stick of butter and melt it along with one tablespoon of vanilla and one egg and you're going to whisk that together until it's combined and you're going to add that into the flowers. Mix this around until it's combined and then you can add in water one quarter cup at a time just until it is combined and a dough like. It's going to be a crumbly dough texture. Then you're going to add half of this into your pie shell because this makes two pie crusts. You're just going to press this down into your pan. Once you get it semi-formed, you can go back in with a cup and just press down on the crust to make it just a tad bit more flat. Now you're just going to prick holes in it and then you're going to pop it in a 375 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until it starts to turn a light golden brown and then you're going to remove it and let it cool. Now for the pie filling you're going to use one can of 100% pure pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling. Make sure you get the pure pumpkin. Then you're going to add in half a cup of heavy whipping cream. You're going to add in two eggs and you're going to whisk that together and add that to your pumpkin. Now you're going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half, excuse me, three quarters of a cup of stevia. pinch of salt, one tablespoon of molasses, but this is optional. You do not have to add this. I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And you're going to whisk this together until it's completely smooth. Now moving on to the dressing, you're going to add in one and a half cups of almond flour, two and a half tablespoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and you're mix this together until it's combined. Now you're going to add in one egg and three quarters of a cup of almond milk. You'll whisk this together until it's completely smooth. Then you'll put this in a 375 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or just until it's slightly set. Moving back to the pie, after your pie crust has cooled, you're going to add in your pie filling and you're going to put this back in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes until it's slightly set in the middle. It'll still be a little jiggly in the middle. Take it out and let it cool completely before serving. Now for the dressing. After you bake this the first time, you'll take it out. You'll stir the dressing around until it's um, crumbly. And then you'll add in some chicken broth along with one to one and a half teaspoons of poultry seasoning and one and a half teaspoons of sage along with salt and pepper to taste and then you'll mix this together until it's combined now you'll add in your sauteed onions and celery. You do not have to cook these, but I like to cook them ahead because I do not like crunchy celery um, in my dressing, so you can do that beforehand. Then you'll just mix it together, spread the top down, and place it back in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes or until it's set 
when a toothpick inserted comes out clean. And this is what it looks like, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that little red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like the video and tick that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.